Hello students, today we are going to discuss one more concept from sexual reproduction in flowering plants. The concept is structure of a stamen and its variations. Stamen is male reproductive organ of a flower. Each stamen has a bilobed structure called anther. Anther is attached to a filament. The two lobes of anther are joined by a connective that contains the vascular bundle that is xylem and phloem which carries the nutrients to anther lobes. Each lobe of anther consists of two pollen sacs called microsporangia. Now once think that how many pollen sacs are present in a bilobed anther bilobed anther two lobes each lobe consists two pollen sacs that means in an anther four pollen sacs are present each microsporangium gives rise to thousands of microspores or pollen grains or male gametophytes each pollen grain on germination give rise to two male gametes or male nuclei. Variations in stamen, arrangements and stamen attachments. The first variation, cohesion of stamens. It refers to union of stamens with each other. There are different types of cohesion of stamens. They are monoadelphous, diadelphous, polyadelphous, syngenesious, synandrous. So let's uh, discuss each and every one of this monoadelphous, diadelphous, polyadelphous, syngenesious and synandrous. First one. Monoadelphous. Filaments of all the stamens are fused together into a, a single bundle or tube and the anthers are free. This condition is called as monoadelphous. In this uh, heading, monoadelphous, mono means single. Now, see this uh, photograph here. So, here the first five this five or the gynesium the stigma all the stigma united form a single style and it opens into the ovary and this region hair like structures here these are all anthers and their filaments are united to form this tube and this tube encloses this style example Hibiscus. Second one, diadelphus. The name indicates di means two. Filaments of the stamens are fused together to form two bundles and the anthers are free. So, observe this photograph again. So here all these anthers are free and the first bundle all the filaments are united to form this bundle and this is the another bundle second bundle two bundles are formed filaments are united to form two bundles hence this condition is called diadelphus example p flower third one polyadelphus poly means many filaments are united to form more than two bundles and the anthers are free this condition is called as the polyadelphus so here these are the anthers and 
the filaments of these anthers are united form four different bundles so hence this condition is called as polyadelphous and example is lemon or citrus flowers fourth condition syngenesious the anthers are united together but the filaments are free so till now we are discussed monoadelphous diadelphous polyadelphous in these three conditions filaments are united and anthers are free but in syngenesious condition anthers are united and filaments are free the example is sunflower the last type sunandrus both anthers and filaments are fused together to form a bundle so now in first type monoadelphous filaments are fused to form a single bundle second type diadelphous filaments are fused to form two bundles third type polyadelphous filaments are fused to form more than two bundles syngenesious anthers are fused and filaments are free and in this condition synandrous both anthers and filaments are fused together to form a bundle example pumpkin a next variation that is relative length of stamens it refers the condition where the stamens are present in different heights there are different types of relative length of stamens they are didynamous tetradynamous heterodynamous first one didynamous in this condition where out of four stamens two have longer filaments while the other two have shorter filaments so observe this diagram here so there are total four stamens are present in this photograph in this two stamens are having longer filaments and two stamens having shorter filaments this condition is called as didynamous example for this condition is tulasi it is a medicinal plant and its scientific name is osimum tenuiflorum second type tetradynamous in this condition out of six stamens four have longer filaments and remaining two have shorter filaments so observe this photograph total this flower having six stamens in this six stamens four stamens are having long filaments and two stamens are having shorter filaments this condition is called tetradynamous example mustard another type heterodynamous in this condition the filaments of stamens are present in different groups of heights so see this uh, photograph this flower has some number of stamens are present in this some group of stamens are smallest 
and some group of stamens or bigger than this group and this three stamens or bigger than this group so in this flower the stamens are present in different group of heights this condition is called heterodynamous example cisalphinacy next variation adhesion of stamens here adhesion means attachment that means this variation refers the attachment of stamens with other whorls or parts of the flower there are different types of adhesion of stamens they are epipetalous gynandrous epiphyllous first one epipetalous in this condition the stamens are attached to the petals by their filaments and the anthers are free this condition is called epipetalous example datura gynandrous in this condition the stamens are attached to the carpels so see this uh, photograph carpel is a unit of female reproductive part called gynecium this is a carpel stigma tube like structure style and basal swollen part of ovary now in gynandrous condition the filaments of the stamens are attached to the carpel that is ovary region they are attached to the carpel region this condition is called gynandrous example calotropis epiphyllous it is also called epitepalous in this condition the stamens are attached to perianth perianth is nothing but calyx and corolla together called as perianth so in this photograph all these stamens are attached to the the few stamens are attached to the corolla and few stamens are attached to the calyx examples lily asparagus thank you students again we will discuss the one more concept in the next part